going to use its healing powers. And to talk more about that is Becca Herberg with Lady Slipper Flowers in St. Peter. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. And let's start by talking about how you got involved with eucalyptus. Sure. Um, I use it a lot in floral arrangements. It's very popular in wedding um, arrangements mm. and bouquets as well. Um, with the wreaths, how I got started with that is, well, actually in the fall I do evergreen Christmas wreaths and mm. I wanted to do something for spring. I'm like, why not use eucalyptus? Yeah. Super popular. It will dry out and self-preserve, which is a great characteristic of it too. Yeah, now you were telling us you grow eucalyptus. I don't. This oh. actually I order in my other greens and flowers oh, and okay. I, I grow right. on the farm. Oh, yeah. I misunderstood that. Sorry. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. So how, do, how does the wreath process work? Sure. So there are a couple of different things that you could do. Um, if you wanted a full eucalyptus wreath, what you do is you make these little bundles. Um, I snip a full stem into little pieces and wrap them with wire. This has a ton of those all bundled together. But if you wanted something easy to do at home, um, I pre-started one here where I just did like a little twisty tie wire around the stems and then you layer your bundles and twisty tie them on the wreath as well. So let me see if I can get this to stay here quick. And then you can keep adding them until it's as full as you want it to be and hang it up on your door. Yeah, and that's the great thing about projects like this is it can just be to your taste, what you want to add. Like you have some pops Definitely. of color over here in your yep. finished yep. one. And this metal wreath form, it's great for adding like flowers. You could use artificial if you didn't want to use fresh eucalyptus. A lot of options. So really all you need is the, the metal wreath where you can get that probably any craft, craft store. store or Amazon. You can order them. Um, a spool of wire, which could also be found at your local craft mm -hmm. store. The greenery most likely would have to get from a florist. Not a lot of grocery stores carry mm -hmm. eucalyptus, but that's something you could easily get from myself or a local florist. Yeah. How long does it stay aromatic and a great question. Um, a couple weeks as it dries, it will lose kind of mm -hmm. those natural oils. Um, but as it dries, it will preserve just like this, maybe a little lighter in color, and the wreath itself will last forever. Oh. And people are also also doing eucalyptus bundles for the shower. Talk about that trend. Yeah, a little bit. yeah. So that's something that's been popular on social media lately. It's not really a new idea. It's been around for a long time. But you take. Um, a bundle of eucalyptus like this one here. And this variety of eucalyptus is the best. It's called baby eucalyptus. It's very aromatic, very fragrant. And you just tie it below your shower head and it will release kind of its oils as the water vaporizes mm -hmm. and have a little spa aromatherapy at home. Wow, that's a really cool yeah. idea. Yeah. So where can folks find you either online or, or physically for more information? Um, social media, Facebook, Instagram is at Lady Slipper Flowers. And then also my website is LadySlipperFlowersMN.com. And then as far as cost goes, how much would a bundle like this cost for About someone? About $13. Okay. Not bad. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being thank here today. Thank you. We'll have so much more for you coming up on Cato Living. Stay with us.